addition to cosmetic surgeon. Will it hurt, doctor? Surgeon. Only when you get my bill, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> One night, an insane asylum inmate shouted, I am Napoleon. Another one said, How do you know? The first inmate said, God told me. Just then, a voice from another room shouted, I did not! <laughs> a woman was terribly overweight, so her doctor put her on a diet. I want you to eat regularly for two days, then skip a day and repeat this procedure for two weeks. The next time I see you, you'll have lost at least five pounds. When the woman returned, she shocked the doctor by losing nearly 20 pounds. Why? That's amazing, the doctor said. Did you follow my instructions? The woman nodded. I'll tell you though, I thought I was going to drop dead that third day. From hunger, you mean? No, from skipping. <laughs> I said to the doctor, I have this ringing in my ears. He said, don't answer it. <laughs> a very homely young woman made an appointment with a psychiatrist. She walked into his office and said, Doctor, I'm so depressed and lonely. I don't have any friends. No man will come near me and everybody laughs at me. Can you help me accept my ugliness? I'm sure I can, the psychiatrist replied. Just go over and lie face down on that couch. <laughs> After years with a psychiatrist, a man who thought he was a dog declared cured. A friend asked him how he felt now. The former patient replied, fine, just feel my nose. <laughs> 7. A distraught patient phoned her doctor's office. The woman wanted to know if the medication the doctor had prescribed was for the rest of her life. She was told that it was. There was a moment of silence before the woman continued. I'm wondering, then, just how serious my condition is? This prescription is marked no refills. <laughs> Sobel goes into the optometrist's office. He opens the door and says to the receptionist, I think I need my eye checked. She says, You're not kidding, this is the ladies' room. <laughs> Mr. Chilton, the analyst said, I think this will be your last visit. Does that mean I'm cured? He asked. For all practical purposes, yes she said. I think we can safely say that your kleptomania is now under control. You haven't stolen anything in two years and you seem to know where the kleptomania came from. Well, that's terrific, doctor. Before I go, I'd like to tell you something. Although our relationship is strictly professional, it's been one of the most rewarding of my life. I wish I could do something to repay you for helping me. You've paid my fee, the doctor said. That's the only responsibility you have. I know, Chilton said. But isn't there some personal favor I could do for you? Well, the doctor said. I'll tell you what. If you ever suffer a relapse, my son could use a nice portable color television. <laughs> Herman, the hypochondriac, began sobbing before a doctor. I'm sure I've got a liver disease and I'm gonna die from it. Ridiculous, said the doctor. You'd never know if you had the disease or not. With that element, there's no discomfort of any kind. Right, said Herman. Those are my exact symptoms. 